Aries, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. I'm Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. All right, Aries, I've been meditating on it, and your words for the day are unfulfilled promises. So let's have a look, shall we? What is that all about, please, for Aries? Unfulfilled promises for Aries, please. Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There's also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. If you want to book a private reading, you have to come to me via my website. It's There's a link below to gentvtarot.com. I'm not going to book a reading with you any other way. I'm not going to come to you. There's scammers out there. So if I do come to you, it's not actually me. It's somebody pretending to be me, so don't fall for it. Otherwise, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Let's get started, shall we, Aries? All right, so let's have a look. Unfulfilled promises for Aries, please. I can't want to say promises were made. As of the first card came out, I, I heard promises were made. Unfulfilled promises, obviously. That's the whole point of the reading, right? Promises were made, and I kind of feel like it was believable. That was the thing. They were actually really believable promises. This person who made these promises was in a really good position to fulfill them and they didn't. Why? Something got in the way. It sort of looks like work maybe got in the way. Work got in the way so I can't give you what I promised. I have to do this. Tell me more. I haven't got the goods. It's it sort of feels like a lot of little insignificant promises have built up, but it feels like there's some big ones. But it's like the little ones that keep building up. That's that's the one that broke the camel's back in a way. And it kind of feels like this person's out of contact a lot of the time. I'm busy. I'm, I'm busy. I'm doing stuff. I can't talk to you right now. I've got to focus on this. Yeah, but you made me a promise about like this, that we were going to do this, like that this was, we're going to get married now. We're going to go on vacation now, or, you know, we're going to have kids now, or, you know, we're going to get a puppy now. Some, anything. It doesn't matter. You know, it's uh, promises were made and I can't do it now because I'm too busy. I've got to focus on this. I can't call you until six this evening, so, you know, just stew on it all day. <laughs> it's like that beautiful person that made you the promises has, has become something else, a workhorse is what I just heard. But... Where's the fun? Is this person living anymore? Yeah, obviously they are, but it doesn't look like they're, you know, enjoying life anymore. And you're sort of like just expected to wait and figure it out. You just entertain yourself. You just figure it out and do what you gotta do while I'm busy. There's a lot of loss here. Like, I, I sort of feel like you feel 
at a loss. You feel like you've lost the person who you believed in, who made you these promises. It's like they've... Oh, okay. Interesting. I, ju I just heard uh, Rip Van Winkle. Interesting. So the story of Rip Van Winkle. Oh, it's so... Oh, it's it's kind of like that he... He's all interested in going out to the pub and drinking with his mates and then helping his mates, you know, with their farms. And he doesn't look after his own farm. His wife's got to do all the looking after, the, like, their farm and does everything. And it's sort of kind of like this, that that seems to be what it is. This person's, you know, looking after everything else apart from their own farm, their own home, their own relationship. They're, they're you know, doing everything but, you know. What is it? It goes to sleep for 20 years or is it 100 years? And uh, it's all gone when he wakes up. That's kind of what's going to happen now. It's pure Rip Van Winkle. Tell me, have I got the story right? Tell me in the comments below. Have I, have I got the story right? So we've got the High Priestess here for what's coming up in the near future. High Priestess in reverse, though. Ooh. This, I kind of get a feeling that this relationship's over. It's finished. Kaput. It's done. And... Uh, you know what else I kind of feel? that all of these excuses are kind of BS. It's all sort of like a cover story for something a little bit more sinister. I think you're gonna find out some things that are gonna hurt. Was there somebody that you were a little bit jealous of in, the, in their life before. Person of interest. There's a person of interest to you that you've already spotted that something possibly, what's going on between you two? Yeah, you were right, you were right. They're not putting the work into your relationship anymore. They're like, oh yeah, I'm working, I'm working so hard. Yeah, maybe some of the time, but then again, some of the time they're Plowing someone else's field. Get me? I'm gonna find this out pretty soon. When? When are you gonna find out? Ooh, that's days actually. You're this is this is not weeks, this is days. Okay. Uh so, I, I would say probably before October starts, you're going to find out something you're not going to enjoy. But you know what? I have to say, when I found out that my ex was cheating on me, I was absolutely relieved because it meant that I wasn't crazy. And I hadn't been imagining things. And yes, that person that I thought was a problem was a problem. And I had been gaslit for years. So that kind of might be your first reaction is like, well, I was right. I'm not nuts. Phew. And then it's going to hit you. And it's, I want you to know now how you're going to feel is that you're not good enough. That's not the case. It's nothing to do with whether you're good enough or not. It's because this person's a buffoon and a coward. Freaking coward. They didn't want to tell you. 
because they didn't want to have an uncomfortable conversation. I think some of the time they are actually genuinely working, but, you know, whatever. Then, this is their energy, devil. You, that's your energy. I'm getting a lot here of that they don't want to talk to you. Is that like my throat checker is like, oh, go, 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 go. no, they don't want to talk to you. They don't want to have this conversation. They'd rather go living a lie than have this conversation. Um, you, your energy is the Ace of Pentacles. This, this is like great. This is new beginnings, prosperity, abundance. Woo! And that's because the universe is shaking you off the wrong path. Okay? This person's not the one for you. It's, it's going, hey, baby. Hey. It's time to move on. You're going to have a little bit of time. Where you're like figuring this out, healing from it. You're not going to step straight into a new relationship. That's not what I mean by new beginning, you know. But a new beginning is coming where, you know, you're going to heal and you're going to let, let go of this and the pain it's caused you and move forwards. I'm going to read this outcome and then I'm going to ask about this person in the extended. I'm going to ask how they feel about you. What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you and some guidance from the universe? But it uh, looks like it's time to... You're going to find out pretty soon. In the next, like, ten days, I think. So, let's just read the Hermit. Why is the Hermit here for the outcome, please? There have been obstacles in your way to moving forwards. Like, this relationship, this person, the universe is shaking you off that path it's 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 done it's saying no you you have options now not just this idiot you actually have options that are going to be awesome and you're going to be happy you don't have to wait around for this person who's gonna keep making fake promises that are never gonna happen so awesome i'm going to take this into extended let me just pull you a few oracle cards it's gonna be fine but you know you want to know how this person feels take a look at the extended hold on a minute sorry amazon delivery okay let's pull you through oracle cards oops there we go that's the one i don't normally take fine cards but let's do this look at the bigger picture that you're gonna be happier without this person. Just saying, just saying. I still got my cards out. Hold on. Some guys from the Love Angels. Getting to know each other. It was reversed. It's kind of like that sort of had been part of your story together that you were, but then it just sort of stopped and they cut you off. I'm busy, I'm working, I'm shagging my secretary or whatever. I don't know. I feel like it is someone they work with or have worked with. Someone, someone who you've been concerned about anyway. <clears throat> Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. I actually feel like this has got more to do with the spiritual path that you're being knocked off of this path now because it's not yours. You're supposed to be doing more awesome things with your life. This person's not awesome. You are. Just saying. Don't shoot the messenger. You are awesome. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hear any arguments about it. You'll love the Rick. Yes. Now close those eyes and let me love you to death. Type O negative. Love you to death. Total tune. Let me know what you think of that tune in the comments below. 
thanks for joining me you guys don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell and if you want to watch the extended take a look at the description box below there's a link to my patreon you'll find the video there Bye.